Hey everybody, I'm Beaver the Beaver, and welcome back to This is the Police. Last time, uh, not any storyline, um, but we did accomplish pretty much everything. We got new job slots and everything. It was great. So let's end the day, and let's move on to day 87. Um, okay. Should we send anyone over? Yeah, we're definitely going to send someone. Oh, uh, maybe not. Everyone's pretty tired except for Kochi. Um, and I don't know if I want to send over our best person. We might not even need to anymore. We, we just might have enough people. Do we have enough people? We might have enough people, actually. Shift B. Shift A. Yeah. I think we're okay. I think we have enough people. Okay. Fine. End the day. Here we go. Homeless increased by 13%. Uh, great. Juvenile vandals forced to clean graffiti. Okay, that's good. Nudist demand private beach in city. A private beach. Oh yeah, because like they're always arguing about the about being nude on the beach. That's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> Just because there's so much crime involved with it. Look, everyone loves us. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. It only took what 87 days to figure this game out. McStone didn't come into work today. Fuck you, McStone. What the hell? I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. This guy is always tired. Ah, oh, God. My grandfather has epilepsy and I recently and recent recently the seizures have gotten worse. They happen more often and they and they all ends in tears. They all end in tears. The doctors say he needs a special new drug that I can only get out of town. I'm the only one in the family who drives. Can I go get these drugs today? No. I'm too tired, I can hardly walk straight, can I go home? Fuck you. I just hired you, you son of a bitch. I drank too much. God! What the hell? Jesus Christ, everybody! Alright. We need to fire somebody. This is ridiculous. Look, we're gonna put in the rape, the rape cassette. Okay, get in there. Blues from Mr. T. Get on in there. And, uh... We need to, we need to shuffle things up a little bit. This is ridiculous. Send cops to the academy. According to recent reports, the FPD is hiring police academy graduates the lowest grades. This is shameful, not just for you, but for the entire city. In the next two days, send at least four cops for retraining. If you can't teach them anything, let the professionals step in. Okay. That's fair. We can send two now and two tomorrow. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Let's do that. Let's do that before we forget. Okay, so uh, what is it? I totally forget. Deputy. Training. Okay. Yes. Uh, you and oops. And I guess Numata. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Get in there. Great. So they're gonna do training, and then tomorrow we gotta remember to do two more. Your share of the money. Oh, great. Take it all. What's this? Shooting. Fuck. <laughs> right off the bat. Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. I gotta remember to do this. Police station. Um, let's see. 850 and 250. So these two are pretty good. We might be able to fire, um, like McStone. He's not great, right? And, uh, this guy? Or no, this guy. We gotta fire him. Is there a better detective? No, there's not. Not really. Fuck. Um. Let's see. I really want to fire someone. <laughs> 220. 220. Straight up didn't come into work today. Um. 850. 250. 850. 250. Alright. Can I fire you legally? Didn't come to work. Yeah, alright. Fine. We're firing you. And we're gonna hire this guy. Shift day. Alright. Now. This guy here. I guess he's the worst. Can I fire you legally? No. How about you, Kingston? No. Spain? I don't want to fire Spain. She's been great, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Fire. Can we kill him? Eh, let's just keep him, I guess. How about, uh... McCoy? Nah. Fine. Alright, I want to fire him, actually. 
Should we do it? Should we hire this guy? Here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fire... We're gonna fire... Oh, illegally? He didn't come into work. Oh no, he was too tired. That's right. Alright, fine, you bastard. Getting away through loopholes and shit. <laughs> Bullshit. Alright, shooting. An office employee came to work earlier than usual and heard gunshots and screams coming from up on the roof. I always work on the top floor and I've never noticed anything like this before. It might just be someone watching TV. Heard gunshots and screams. Alright, well, let's let's send in some people just in case. Let's send in Prado. And, uh, these two. SWAT, paddy wagon. I'm scared. I'm really scared. And Smith. Alright, fine. Hopefully it's not too bad. And we don't need backup. That's what I'm worried about, having to send backup. God damn it. <laughs> I was worried about this. I wanted three people in case this popped up. Abortion opponents have uh, uh, blockaded a women's clinic. They're acting very aggressively, shouting, Abortion is murder! Abortion is a sin! No one dares approach, and the doctors and nurses are afraid to leave the building. Oh, no. We're going to have to just send these two and maybe, maybe get backup later. I think that's the only option for this. Where's this thing? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Reckless endangerment. Okay. Hold on. Give me a second. Yeah, false alarm. God damn it. That's irritating. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna send these two in. Fuck. <laughs> Never mind. Fine. Oh, that's so irritating. Okay, go do this then, you bastards. What's this? Mr. Boyd, my foreign cooks have really gotten out of hand. They started spitting in the food and putting in all sorts of strange things, like it's some kind of joke. It wouldn't matter, except several visitors began to notice they're eating foreign objects. Uh, it still matters, <laughs> okay? And they started to complain. I tried to talk with the staff, and they nod and agree, but then they just continue to work to wreak havoc. Please send a couple of your men here, maybe intimidate them with jail time or deportation, but make sure the threats stay just threats. I can't afford to be without the cooks for even one day. This sounds like a fair... A fair request. Um, so I'll see if I can accommodate that. Please, nobody died. Nobody dead. Nobody, nobody. Aw, oh, come on! Dang it, now we have to find a way to make City all happy again. Ugh. What's this? Fraud at the ghetto. A man who wished to remain anonymous told us the address of another man who was engaged in the production and sale of fake documents, cert certificates, and other papers that are in high demand these days. This guy's prices skyrocketed and the quality is just as bad as before. This could also be a false alarm. Alright, she needs two people. There's a $100 bill on the street and a few teenagers in the alley are poking their heads out from around the corner. What was this? Oh, okay. Quietly enter the alley from the other side. Dive into the alley. Chase the money. Quietly enter. We did it. All right, um, okay. We're gonna send two people to this. We're gonna try to help out the community for once. Haven't done that in a while. Um, and we're gonna send you two into this thing. I think this this might be a false alarm, but oh, we should have sent them. They're so close, I didn't realize. Dang it. They would have been much better for this job. This potential far false alarm that's like a million miles away. What's this? Theft. A seller at a gift shop noticed a brightly dressed Mexican woman stuffing a statue of the Freeburg Monument into her bag. She then kept on shopping and trying things on, so I followed her. She paid for everything in cash except the figurine. I asked the security guard to stop her, but some big guy stepped in and the theft the thief escaped. Yeah, this is just like that story I was telling you guys before. Um, when I worked, worked retail, like we had a policy where we can't stop people, even though we know they're stealing something. Um, all right. You guys get in there and handle that. I'm sure they can handle that one. All right, Prado, what's the report? What's going down over here? What is it? Oh, what? Oh, shit, they got drunk, didn't they? Fuck you. <laughs> Sir, we showed some initiative and knocked around the clever... Wait. Oh, it was them. Oh, okay. Uh, knocked around the clever immigrant with our night six a little bit. Why did you do that? We fucked with the rest of them for half an hour, and they got with the program. They won't be monkeying with the food anymore. Uh, Miss Finch was so thankful, she served up some crab salad with some sake. 
Not even Miss French. It's just like a why is there sake <laughs> at this restaurant? What kind of restaurant is this? Octopus restaurant. Okay. Not even our families take care of us like that. Alright, fine. So they got drunk. I'm not surprised that she got drunk. But fine. And look, we got a thousand bucks too. Barbecue! No one responds to the knock on the door, so the police knock it down and enter the apartment. A man wearing glasses pops out of a room and presents his federal age, Asian ID. That says BBQ. Salute the man and continue to search apartments. Knock the document out of his hands and put him in cuffs. Inspect the ID. Yeah, let's do that. Knock the document out of his hands and put him in cuffs. Fuck that guy. Alright, fine. We did it. We freaking did it. Um... Whatever happened with this Atticus Court thing? I guess maybe we'll find out later. Reckless endangerment. Leroy Everett noticed two apparently smoke-filled teenagers. Smoke-filled teenagers? Okay, sitting in, uh, sitting on the side of the road, taking turns playing Russian roulette. Oh, my good lord. Um, this could be a false alarm. There's probably a fake gun. But we could send a couple people. Oh, this was a false alarm at Atticus Tower? The girl turned out to be a pop star who was visiting Freeburg while on a tour. The big man who stepped in was her bodyguard. She was collecting souvenirs in the local shops. I don't even remember what the thing was, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, fine. Whatever. So, now we can't send these two on anything because they're drunk and they might crash and die. So, uh... Should we even bother with this? Oh, this has got to be a false alarm. It's just got to be. What's this? Hostage situation. See, this is a real thing. Passerby saw some masked gunmen flee a bank carrying some big bags and run into the apartment building. It looked to me like one of the robbers was wounded. All right. Everybody get in there. Go do it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. They're drunk. Oh, no. Oh, no. I <laughs> forgot. Oh, crap. That's not good. Um... Okay, come on. Come on. Shit! God damn it. Oh, I just... I clicked way too fast. I totally forgot that they were drunk. Fuck me. Well, that's what you get. <laughs> that's what you fucking get. Numata, don't die. Oh my god. Why are they all in separate cars? Why don't they just go in the same car? They could just be passengers. Come on, use your heads. Alright, we're gonna go deal with this probable false alarm although they might need backup now ah oh, shit but they do have Prado what's this suspicious individual Naomi Rutherford 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 yeah sure uh, is gravely concerned that the city is being invaded by communists I saw right outside my window a whole family wearing red track suits with the letters USSR written on them I haven't seen anyone holding their hammer and sickle not yet anyway but I know it in my heart it's just like the past 200 years We've shed blood and sweat for this democracy of ours, and we won't just give it over to these commies without a fight. I say let them come at us with everything they've got. Yeah, they're just wearing shirts. Fuck you. <laughs> they're just, like, they're wearing clothes. Deal with it. Hostage situation. The doorman is lying unconscious on the floor, the elevator isn't working, and there's traces of blood on the steps. Shake the doorman awake and interrogate him. Uh, you have nowhere to run. Come out with your hands up. Follow the trail of blood. Follow the blood. Somewhere near the top of the stairs, a woman screams, and then there's gunshots. The doorman st uh, starts to come around. Carefully climb the stairs, run toward the sound, and interrog interrogate the doorman. Are we sure he's the doorman and not he's not faking it? Carefully climb the stairs, run towards the sound. Carefully climb the stairs. There's the corpse of a woman on, in a robe lying on the staircase. The criminals have holed up in an apartment. Throw stun grenades, open fire, hands up, you're under arrest. Throw stun grenades. Did we do it? Oh, good. Hey, look, we got money. Why do I have to ask the mafia to sell money? It's money. Take the money. <laughs> what? What the hell? Um, but the city hall might be angry with us right now, so maybe we should do, but it's probably a lot of money. All right, fine. <laughs> We're getting greedy. We're getting greedy, guys. What was this again? Oh, yeah. Probably a false alarm. Man, I'm so upset about Trevor. I mean, not Trevor himself. I didn't know the guy. He hasn't been a part of the team for very long. Um, I mean, I wouldn't even call him a part of the team, really. Oh. 
Oh, okay, this was not a false alarm. Well, I'm glad I sent someone there then. A fight. A few girls got in a fight while they were waiting in line for tickets to the Larry Pistol concert. Alright, well, wait for these guys to get back. Not Numata. <laughs> she is grounded. Whoa, there is some kind of fight going on outside my apartment. So we got a dog fight. Okay, there we go. Go handle that. Numata, you're not allowed to do anything for the rest of the day because you will die. The woman seems to have been startled by the Brin family. Okay, fine. Yeah, we thought so. We thought that was a false alarm. Okay, anything else for the night? This fine evening? No? Nothing? God, what the fuck, Trevor? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why couldn't you just get in the car with someone else? Jesus. Do we, uh, no? Okay, fine. I'm sure this will be enough. End of the day, right? Yeah, okay. So this is the last one for the day. No problemo. Come on, hurry up. I hope I hope we get some storyline soon. I really want to get some storyline. The last thing we saw was, was Jack getting that package from his old buddy or whatever. That, like, package of porn or something. I want to know what it was. <laughs> I wonder what's going on. How'd it go? Offender escaped? What the fuck? How'd you let him escape? At least nobody died. Alright, let's end the day. That wasn't the best day. Yeah, declared dead. That definitely was not the best day. That was upsetting. Do we need anyone to work tomorrow? Um... No, I think... Well, maybe. Just in case. Let's send Smith. Work tomorrow, Smith. Alright. In the day. Day 88. Here we go. Port Union threatened strike. Okay. Farmers grow. Record breaking zucchini. That's cool. Record breaking. What did I say? Did I say braining? <laughs> Classroom horrified when failed chemistry experiment claims teacher's life. Holy shit. Oh good. Everyone still likes us somehow. Jeez. What happened? What was the experiment? I want to know. So I don't do it. <laughs> I don't want to fuck that up. Vickers didn't come to work today. Great. Why is it always the people we just hired? I drank too much. I don't think I can hold it together. Okay. Smith. Last few months I've been taking antidepressants three times a day. Oh, crap. But today I ran out of my prescription. The pharmacy said that they're getting more in tomorrow, but I'm afraid without the pills I'm not going to be much good. My mind keeps digging up all kinds of disturbing thoughts. Can I go home? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. For the sake of the game, I can't let you go home. Um, I'm sorry about your depression, but I can't help you. Okay, start the day. Um, uh, which one? Which one should we do? The concho. Concho it is. Get in there. Get in there, concho. Make us happy. Make whoever it was, the depressed girl. Was it little? I think it was little. Send cops to the academy. Oh, that's right. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Tomorrow's the deadline. All right. Fine. Um, oh, shit. But we have a problem. The other person who was off to the academy died, right? Yeah. God, these dogs. Shut up. <laughs> he freaking died. So I think now we have to send three people. Shit. Because I forgot to send someone else. All right. Here we go. Uh, labor market... Let's, should we hire her for, um, shift A? Yeah. Oh, but she's so good. Um, God, I can't think. Okay. Labor market. Okay. We're going to hire you for shift B. Okay. And we're going to send you to shift A. And we are going to do... Oops, that's not what I want. We're going to send you to training... Okay, and who else? Oh, only people on the ship. Okay, fine. Except and oh, what? Is that enough? Oh, good. <laughs> Great. That that uh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but fine. Formal complaint from the labor union. Please be informed that your employees have filed a formal complaint against you. We are gathering information and familiarizing ourselves with the circumstances of the case. What could possibly be the complaint? 
I've I've done everything. <laughs> I've done all the things. Why? What the fuck? What is it now? Abduction. A witness found a rusty white truck that uh, uh, that's wanted in connection with the schoolyard kidnapping of a 13-year-old Tanya Rodriguez. The machine is sitting in a field. There's been no movement or sign of life for over two hours. All right, Kochi, get in there. Uh, take Smith and Fowl or Fall or whatever. Go do it. Was there another thing here? No. Who is it that didn't show up to work? Him? Is there anybody good yet? No. Didn't I just hire her? Did I make a mistake? I don't think so. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. I'm losing my mind over here. Alright, Sand. At 14.49. For a thousand bucks? Maybe. Assault. A 50-year-old woman, Amanda Price, attacked a young waitress, claiming the girl was flirting with her husband. Amanda grabbed the waitress by the hair and dragged her across the floor, yelling, You bent over so far, your tits almost flopped on the menu. Oh my good lord. Way to, re -over way to overreact. Alright, Powers and Jaxie and Kingston. Alright. You're our dudes. Go do it. Actually, we probably didn't need all three of you. I believe I just made a mistake. Oh well. Whatever. Go do it anyways. Um, how's this one turning out? Please don't need backup. Okay, suddenly strange sounds start coming from the van. The windows are frosted over, so it's impossible to tell what's inside. Open the door, run into the forest, and watch the truck from a safe distance. Knock on the door. Knock on the door. Oh, God. Inside, there's a man and a girl playing with dolls. Beat the man <laughs> senseless. Just beat him up. Grab the man by the neck and arrest him. Take the girl away and tell her she can finish playing in the police car and then arrest the man. Uh, he might run away, but let's try it. Okay, we did it. Great. Fine. I think with your choices, like as long as everyone uh, has high professionalism, there's just a good chance that you'll succeed with most of the choices. Um... I think that's how it goes. That's how it seems. Terrorism! Mr. Norris called to report an explosion. I was in the kitchen making an omelet with bacon and suddenly, bang, the explosion shook my windows. I'm a former military man and I'd say it was about 10 pounds of TNT, no less. Okay. So it could be like fireworks. This... Uh, it's definitely not terrorism. Um... But it could be someone doing something illegal. I don't know. Knowing this game, this sounds like a false alarm. Let's just go ahead and uh, skip it. See what happens. I think we're going to be okay. It's not terrorism, though. I highly doubt it's terrorism. Okay. Abuse of authority. Young businessman Rasul Haddad came to the police about minor city official Jasper Redman, who has demanded a bribe of $20,000, $20,000,000. Otherwise, he's refusing the necessary permits for Hadat's store. The businessman has volunteered to pretend he's delivering the bribe so the police can catch Redman in the act. Okay. So the police can catch Redman in the act. I don't really get it, but fine. <laughs> Sounds weird to me. Um, let's send in Little and Fall. Foul. Fahol. Fahol. Whatever. <laughs> this butt wipe right here. Go in there. Go do it. Make it happen. Alright. False alarm? Yeah. Forming major renovations on their house. The man heard them doing some demolition. Fine. Yeah. Attempted murder at the beach. <laughs> Jeez, the place is so violent. A young sailor reported an attempt on his life. I was just swimming around close to the shore when I felt someone's flippery, uh, slippery fingers catch my ankle and try to drag me down. I barely escaped. You can laugh, but I know for a fact it was definitely a mermaid. I was in the Navy. I know all about them. Yeah, I'll bet. It's probably a jellyfish. Attempted carjacking at the port. A port employee saw two men trying to break into a truck. They were unable to get it started, so they unhooked the truck's trailer and now are trying to make off with it. Board employees saw two men trying to break into a truck. They were unable to get it started, so they unhooked the truck's trailer. Eh. Might be a false alarm, might not be. Let's send in... 
Um, Powers, why are you always so tired? What's your deal? Let's send in Foxman and uh, Kingston. All right, go do it. The police, what is this? Abuse of authority. Oh, yeah, okay. The police are in the office as soon as the money changes hands. Redmond tries to quickly hide a large parcel in a drawer. Search the desk, beat a confession out of him. Show us what's in the package. Uh, the official quickly jumps and rushes toward the window, trying in vain to get it open. Stop moving, chase him out into the street, grab him and get him to the ground. We did it. Great. Atticus Corp. Um, is there anything good here? Do we need anything? Secret account? Should we do this? I don't know. Because we might get in another situation where they, uh, they take, like, 50% of our money, and we don't want that. Let's do the secret account. Oh, okay, you can deposit or withdraw money from the secret account here. Regular account, secret account. I'm also worried that they'll somehow take my money. I don't know if that's a thing. I truly do not know. How much money? You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I want you guys to tell me. <laughs> okay? You guys tell me. How much should I put in there? Like 100000 150000 $10? You tell me. All right? Tell me how much to put in here. And we'll do that. All right. Fine. We'll, we'll just see how that goes. Uh, homicide. Oh, my God. Okay. Two dozen homeless people have settled outside the city where they've organized a small camp. They're very aggressive to strangers. They attack and beat outsiders and, according to rumor, kill them and sometimes even eat them. The anonymous source also said to look at their gardens. They grow narcotics beside the vegetables. Huh. Very aggressive to strangers. Okay, fine. Well, eh, I don't know about that. Who? Eh, I don't know. This also sounds like a false alarm. God. How much time do we have? Okay, let's wait for them to get back anyways. What was this again? Oh, yeah. The false alarm. Okay. I think this is a false alarm. But uh, just in case, let's send a few people. That should be fine. That should be just fine. Okay, from San. What do you want? One of our guys stole a substantial shipment and disappeared somewhere in the warehouse district. We don't have time to play detective in there, so we'd like you to give us a little professional help. Nope. Not doing it. Sorry. This is why. <laughs> this is exactly why I didn't do it. Um, situation is more serious than we thought. Something else also just popped up. Who's coming back? I can't tell. Will this be enough? Let's just send them all. Whatever. Just in case. Oh, could we have sent SWAT too? God damn it. I always forget to look at that. A shooting. Uh, Mr. Norris called in about some shots he heard from the street. I was frying a steak in the kitchen and I heard several sharp claps. I think it was an M16. I'm ex-military, so I know what I'm saying. You better watch out. Those are some big guns. What's with all these military people popping up today? Saying that they they know what's going on. I was frying a steak in the kitchen, heard several sharp claps, I think it was an M16. This one might actually be true though. I don't know. We don't have anybody anyways. <laughs> Everybody is in use. So I don't think we're going to be able to do it, unfortunately. What was this? Yeah. Overgrown algae, fine. And now another one. Holy good lord. Jesus. This is a busy day. Spotting the police, three residents of the camp draw some strange knives and rush to attack. Open fire on them, fire shots in the air, to try to calm them down. To try to calm them down. Do what to try to calm them down? What? Fire shots in the air. A grubby woman with a baby in her arms crawls out of one tent and runs towards the police. My son, take my son away from here. Don't move or we'll shoot. Pick up the woman and child. Shoot the woman. <laughs> Don't move. How'd it go? Oh, look, we got a ficus. Bring it to the station. 
Uh, yeah, we, we can't do that, unfortunately. Please be a false alarm. Sand is upset with us. Matter of friendship. Oh, God. He's going to start getting really mad. Uh, okay, so this went fine. Shooting. False alarm. Great. Birthday party. Okay. Oh, God. Disorderly conduct. Okay, hold on. An informant reports that some containers are being smuggled into the port. The illegal immigrants hiding inside are to be sold as slaves, and the shipment is accompanied by armed guards. Huh. That sounds pretty serious. Okay. Are they going to get back in time for it? Wait, what? Okay, disorderly conduct at the drugstore. An elderly woman made a scandalous... Accusation at the pharmacy. She claimed that the pharmacist uh, substituted her medication, and because of them, she was gaining weight. Look at these wrinkles. It's disgusting. Then the outraged woman took off her dress. Okay. <laughs> so you need you need someone to go there and just taser her, right? <laughs> That's all you need. All right, fine. Little, you want to go do that? You want to go taser this bitch? Yeah, go do it. It's all you, little. I believe in you. Alright, let's handle this thing. This sounds legit. Uh, we're gonna keep Powers and Smith. How about that? And Jaxie. Is that gonna be enough? I don't know. That might not be enough. They're probably gonna need backup. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Just hope for the best. Yeah, this is why. Assault. A man who lost a large sum of money at the poker table attacked the female dealer. Okay, fine. Let's send in Powers and Jaxi. I'm sure they can handle that. Okay. What's next? Is it, uh... Is it... I don't I can't remember how many days I've done in this episode. <laughs> I forgot to set my timer. Okay, good. We got him. Fantastic. Abduction. No new frames. Okay. So, uh this is a thing that should should be we should be able to figure this out. Okay, so let's try that. Uh she's definitely still here. She's like by the slide, but these are like the same picture. Um What the fuck is this one for? Oops. I don't know. Um, because this can be in all kinds of different order, like... Okay, they met up. This has got to be the same person. It's totally the same person. What am I missing? <laughs> oh my god. They met up. She's got the, the teddy bear. Uh, I don't know. The, I mean, this one, oops, this one has to be last. Sped off. They met up. And, oh, okay, I can see the shadow of the person here. Yeah, they got in the car. Yeah, it's got to be that order. What the fuck? What am I doing wrong? What am I missing, guys? What's the order? Cause I don't I don't see what else it could be. Drove off. I don't know. I feel like this is the problem. You can see the shadow here. You can see someone coming. You can also see the slide here, right? And then they left, got in the truck, left in the truck. I don't know. You guys tell me. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Well, why are you cheating, bitch? The main, the main in the yellow jacket is pointing. <laughs> the main in the yellow jacket is pointing a gun right in the girl's face. Casino security are cautiously watching the action from behind the slot machines. Dude, where'd you get that gorgeous jacket? Pocket a few chips from the table, pull out a gun, and shoot the man. Where'd you get the jacket? 
The man is squeezing the girl's hand, saying, I know how to put an end to your sleight of hand. Let's see how well you palm cards when you're missing your fingers. Bet it all on red. <laughs> Shoot the man with the taser. You there, throw down the weapon or you'll be shot. Believe me, I don't bluff. Oh god, he'll love that. Alright, shoot him with the taser. Yep. Taser every time. Human trafficking. How'd that go? Oh, good, we got loot too. And let's let Sand sell it. Um, Because right now, he's probably not too happy with us because we arrested his dudes. Yeah. That was a pretty good day so far. Looks like everything went well. Huh? Yeah, I think so. No? Yes? Did, did we miss something? I don't know. <laughs> I think it was okay. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you had some fun. If you did, please leave a like. And I'll see you next time. Bye!